We're bringing an old one back from the grave, the grave of the parking lot. Yeah, the what it's happened? Not bringing it anywhere. <laughs> Stay there. <laughs> well, not, well, for this, for this minute. So this video is titled "What Happened to the Hoopty," and for those that don't know, we have put a lot of effort into a stock 1AT engine and um, today we're moving some cars around and stuff so we figured we'd give you guys a little bit of an update on what happened to our mark 4 1AT known as the hoopty and um, we did pretty good with this thing let's go check it out people wondered what happened to it so let's show you guys what, what it is walk and talk walk so and no talk. so now we can cut it and then you can maybe show cut it The hoopty. It's been sitting here for literally months. And to give you guys a little bit of a backstory on this, don't get wet, Clayton. Just it's a little swampy. A little swampy. To give you guys a backstory on this, quickly, this was our first like real YouTube project, right, Clayton? We should Aside have had from it as a giveaway, stuff. man. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> get some tetanus. <laughs> Yeah, so this was our first real, uh, not giveaway, <laughs> our first real um, project car that we bought for the channel just to kind of have some fun with. So for those that don't know, it's a Mark IV 180 Golf. It has a Jetta front end. Somebody put on it at one point. Um, it's a very high mileage, and we paid 400 Canadian dollars for it. We decided to push the stock engine as far as we could and uh, we've been building big turbo 180s for a long time and we typically keep them between 300 and 350 horsepower range on pump gas because the rods are very weak in these things so we decided you know we didn't pay much for the car we had a bunch of turbo parts laying around and we wanted to chuck some parts at this to see what we could do the first thing we did with this thing well we'll show you I'll give you a little peek I haven't seen this really since we parked it out here um, but the first thing we did when we started this project was we put it on ECU Master EMU Black stock engine. We showed you guys how to just basically disconnect the harness from your old ECU, plug in the EMU Black. Hey, how easy is it? It's very easy. You'll see it in the previous video. I'll link okay. it above. And we had the stock engine running in like 10 minutes. Um, so that was the very first thing we did. Then we decided to pull the engine out and start chucking some turbo parts at it. We put a GT35R. This will be all in the previous videos. And the, th the first time we had it on the dyno, we made like low 400s, if I remember correctly. And we put that video out there as like potentially the highest horsepower 180 stock engine. The internet spoke up. We found out a few guys that made slightly more horsepower. Um, keep in mind, this is a uh, small wrist pin, small uh, ported 1AT AWP head. So once we've seen that, we decided to go back at it and make a little bit more power. And then we got to the point where we opted to do a live stream and see how far we could really push it. Clayton, do you remember how much horsepower we made on this? What, like total when we were done? Yeah. Like done, done? Yeah. Five... 80 something I thought Five, I think it's 598 oh yeah just just under six just, yeah and I think I told you the other day changing the dynograph to speed versus rpm it was 606 wheel and that's more uh, than I made on the bike that time that is more I think the six was more than what yeah. you made on the bike yeah 
the sixth part of that number. Yeah. Um, so this thing has been literally, we tried to push it a couple days after that and um, we ran into some issues. I think I got greedy with RPM. We don't really know. We haven't done anything with this engine since then. It literally made like 550 wheel horsepower. I backed it out here. And as you can see, Clayton pillaged the injectors and the fuel rail off it. And we already pillaged the turbo off it. Show them the water in there. The wastegate? Oh, They're yeah. supposed to be full of water. <laughs> um, down there. That might have some water in it too. So we're to the point now where, you know, again, this was our first project. We, we bought the Mark 7R and things didn't go quite as well with that one. But we've promised everybody that we want, we were going to do a teardown of this thing. So we're just wondering, do you guys, should we do a live stream of the teardown? We'd obviously prepare it so that it would be as entertaining as possible. Engine on the stand, start pulling it all apart. Um, we want to do a teardown. Lots stand. of people, whoa, whoa, wait. Merch. Merch plug? Yes. Is it time, Clayton? It's time. It's that time of the year. We have lots of zip up hoodies, lots of the regular pullover hoodies that you guys would see in our videos, lots of hats. We got t-shirts, we got the It's Only Money t-shirt as well. We got beanies, we got tons of stuff. Don't forget to check it out on our website. Support the small guys. So do you guys wanna see a live stream of this or should we just put out a video? It's been a long time since we've done anything with the Hoopty. I figured I'd put that out there. We, it's literally been sitting out here. Oh, I forgot I spray bombed the hood, the hood with the 1.8 hoopty on it. Look at all the fun we've had with this. Man, we, we've, we've been through this. Some thing was, this. yeah, I mean, look inside and stuff. It's, it's super nice still. You know, it's, it's definitely was worth the $400 with the mold and the rust and the, all the, that aroma. What's this aroma? It's stench. What? <laughs> it's just stench. That's just all it classification. The, it still smells better than the ashtray, but man, oh man, it's still terrible. There's uh Do you remember when we some actually... Some of these here, yeah, Clayton? I forget about those. <laughs> this is underwear. What about this? The fact that we thought that this was so bad that we had to put plastic on the seats when we took this out for a drive that winter. It is disgusting. I, and I was, I was saying to Clayton, I think the sun baking in it all summer has actually helped with the mold. There's less mold in it now than there was before. <laughs> And Clayton was saying earlier, I don't know if he captured this, but um, Clayton said we should give this away. <laughs> and we're just talking jokes because nobody wants this. I will ask now that it's been quite a few months since we put this out. Does anybody know of any stock long block 180s that have made more than 598 wheel horsepower? I don't think there is. But the world's a big place, Clayton. Yeah. There very and, well could be. And we will prove, because there was people in the comments stating that, oh, this thing must have rods, everything else. And we'll, we'll, well we that. bought it for $400. So if it had rods and It'd we got a whole deal. car with rods in it, that'd be amazing. And if it does have rods, well, that just means we needed to put another cylinder head on it and send this thing through the moon, oh, right? Geez. Great. Right? Yeah. We do have, I, I mean, we do have another engine that we could potentially chuck in this. We're not 100% sure where this will go from here, um, but I wanted to bring you guys, you know, back up to speed where it's been sitting. We get lots of comments in the comment section of our videos. What happened to it? Put the 1.8 Hoopty engine in the Mark 7R. Most guys don't realize that we did hurt this at the end. It didn't blow up catastrophically like the R did, but it was definitely down on power comparatively to what we were doing with it. Again, I think I pulled it out here the last day Clayton and I dinered. It was like 540 to 550 wheel. So it was still making really good power. However, it was taking a heck of a lot of boost to get there. It's pretty funny how we built or we're trying to build a car to go drag racing and then everybody wants us to take this drag racing. And yeah, I get the appeal because, you know, lots of people own Mark IVs, but this car was not fit for the drag strip. It's not fit for the road, really. Um, it did <laughs> have a safety, it. I think. We, we took it on the road. It did it have fun. a safety on it that was legit when we took it out. Uh, but the transmission and the drivetrain and stuff just wouldn't hold that kind of power at the track with any kind of tire on it anyways. You forgot the air quotes with legit. Legit, yeah. yeah. Um, so a couple of things, we, you know, let us know, should we do a live stream on it? We also wanted to mention in the next probably week or so, uh, it's about a week away, I think, we're heading to World Cup. So for those guys that don't know, 
We're trying to build my drag car to go race at World Cup. We've been going to this event for a very long time, so we are hope to capture some of that weekend and share with you guys. So if anybody happens to be attending World Cup this year, so that's import versus domestic in Maryland, um, and you see us, don't forget to say hi. Don't forget all our, our patrons that supported this build. We do appreciate all you guys. As you can see, it's literally been sitting out here just getting weathered. A little dark. There we go. A little dark. You got her? Got her. The mirror's still taped on with some wood screws, too, holding it all in. So let us know what you guys think about the... Oh, uh, I almost, <laughs> like, destroyed <laughs> myself in this swamp. <laughs> so let us know what you guys think. Should we do a live stream of the teardown of this? Um, if you have any questions or comments about this thing, I feel like I'm forgetting a ton because this thing, we got quite a few videos on it and it was a very fun project. There's lots of content. Clayton will probably have a bunch of that added in this video. If you have any questions or comments, don't forget to ask them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see everybody in World Cup.